This is uh, the complete run of choices from the very first year. It's our annual list of the best books of the year. We do reading throughout the year and Choices is the culmination of that. They get distributed in a number of different ways. We always do a big push after they first come out and get cop a copy into every public library in Wisconsin. George loved words. He wanted to learn how to read, but George was enslaved. It wouldn't be a job for someone who didn't like to read. We get about, oh, about 4,000 new books every year. I've never had a girlfriend, but if I did, you better believe she'd be pulchritudinous. It's something that I like doing and I also think it's valuable. One of the biggest commitments and one of the best parts of this job. What books can do is so agile and varies so much from child to child, and when you put it all together, it's pretty amazing. To feel the magic of music, the blind man whispered, I like to close my eyes. You know, a lot of it's just providing the best possible books to kids. And there's a saying in the library world, the right book for a child at the right time. And um, you can't always guess what that's going to be, but um, having the choices out there for uh, people to choose from, that's really what makes the difference. Being fabulous, being relentlessly fabulous is damned hard. Teenagers think that what is happening to them is completely unique and no one has ever experienced it before. You know that feeling, that terrible, awful feeling that things just aren't right? When they find a book that is about someone who's like them, it can be this um, sort of ultimate uh, validation. Is there a dragon in the doorway, an elephant in the living room that no one will talk about? You know, the book is called Freak Show. Florida, the reddest of the red states. I had uh, two students at the time when I first taught that book who were closeted, and both of them have talked to me since high school and kept in touch and said that um, reading that book was just, showed them someone just like them. Um, and so even if they couldn't be who they wanted to be right away, they knew that it was possible. And that's the, the another part that I think I appreciate about the CCPC, is that they don't shy away from controversy because again, it's the reality of our life. Each Kindness by Jacqueline Woodson, they tackle all the issues that kids might go through. Every day we whisper about Maya, laughing at her clothes, her shoes, the strange food she brought for lunch. A child who's being bullied, or a child who is the bully. Each kindness, Miss Albert had said, makes the whole world a little bit better. It's also a chance to have those conversations instead of just telling them to be kind. I've had students come back and say, a month, two months after they've read a certain title, this helped me through a very difficult time. I'm facing challenges like this character in this book did. I not only use it as to purchase books for my school library, but I use it as a resource for my own ch young children. It's made my work possible. I knew that I could go to Choices and pick anything, and it would be excellent. I think the librarians at the CCPC understand that. They care about their work, and once you care about your work, you get some really good results. I mean, even if you can change one child's life, with a book, it's really worth all the effort.